So this is the biggest relief for business owners. There's a new casual loading offset provision that's been introduced to ensure wrongly classified casuals cannot double dip and be back paid entitlements as a permanent employee in addition to keeping the casual loading they've already been paid. So we now have clarity as to what we employers must do to ensure no double dipping by casuals will be possible moving forward and no permanent entitlement claims which have already been made will stand up in court. The way to avoid this is by having employment contracts in place with our casuals and those employment contracts stating some really particular things, which I'll outline in a moment. And this will ensure that any past or future claims for permanent entitlements from that employee will now be offset against the casual loading that's already been paid to that casual employee. So this means that when an employee who's been described as casual but through court proceedings uh, is determined that they're not casual, the court's now required to reduce any amounts that the employee could have been entitled to by reference to casual loading amounts already paid by the employer to compensate for those entitlements. So let me just take a quick step back here for those of you who aren't across the confusion that's existed in this space over the last few years. Because the question of what makes a casual a casual has been a major source of uncertainty for employers in recent years due to some court cases like Skeen and Rosato, you may have heard of those names. There's been some instances where casuals have been able to claim that they were not in fact casual because they had been performing such regular and consistent hours over time. And based on this and a number of other complexities, which I won't bore you with here, they were able to keep the casual loading that they'd been, pay, been paid plus be back paid various entitlements that a permanent employee receives, essentially allowing them to double dip. So what has changed? So now employees whose employment contract states that they are casual and states that their casual loading is a separate identifiable amount will remain so when they're accepted when when they accepted the offer of employment they were not committed to work in advance this is now regardless of whether the casual employee goes on to perform regular and consistent hours in other words regular and systematic casual employment will not of itself imply permanency this means we now have a way to avoid wrongly classified casuals from double dipping and being back paid permanently, permanent entitlements, as well as getting to keep that casual loading they've been paid. So here's the important part. You will only be able to avoid the double dipping situation where the employment contract states that the casual loading is a separate identifiable amount paid in compensation for the employee not having at least one or more of the following entitlements paid leave sorry paid annual leave paid personal carers leave paid compassionate leave payment for absence on a public holiday payment in lieu of notice of termination or payment of redundancy pay. I'm also recommending to our clients that they also include the proportion of the loading amount attributable to each such entitlement. So if you don't know these amounts, we can help you out with that. So what to do now? There are two things you need to do to be able to access this new casual loading offset provision and avoid an incorrectly classified casual being able to claim permanent entitlements in the future. The first one is give casuals existing and future a copy of the casual employment information statement which we talked about in a previous video. So just like you've already been giving the, uh, your employees the fair work information statement, now you give the casuals the casual employment information statement as well. The second thing you need to do is put this new casual loading offset provision into your employment contracts or enterprise agreement ASAP to avoid double dipping. So if you don't have employment contracts for your casuals, get casual contracts drafted that clearly state the relevant employment 
sorry, the relevant entitlements, the loading amount is compensating for and the proportion of the loading amount attributable to each such entitlement. If you do already have employment contracts for your casuals, a couple of things to do, check if their employment contract actually states somewhere the relevant entitlements the loading amount is compensating for and the proportion of the loading amount attributable to each such entitlement. And if you don't, then draft up an amendment or uh, variation and have the employee sign it. However, if you have an, an enterprise agreement, you'll need to review the wording to ascertain whether there is any ambiguity that the current wording is in conflict with the new casual conversion provision. If it is, then you can make an application to vary your agreement using a particular form that they've come out with, uh, Form F23C. So don't forget, as per our advice in our video on the definition of casual employment, make sure the wording in your casual employment contracts meet the new definition of casual employment and communicates the four determining factors. I'll I'll mention those again here. The four are whether the employer employer can elect to offer work and the worker can elect to accept or reject work. That's key to being casual. Whether the worker will now only be uh, only work as required according to the needs of the employer. The employment is described as casual employment. And the fourth one is the worker will be entitled to a casual loading or specific rate of pay under the, under the terms stated in the contract award or enterprise agreement. So that brings me to the end of this explanation of this particular Fair Work uh, Amendment, which is about the new casual loading offset provision, which is there now to avoid double dipping. Hope this has been useful. Uh, check out our other videos on our blog page on our website, www.hrtactics.com.au.